It's snowing. The year's coming to an end. But 2020 is gonna be fire! Melt the snow away, boy! <laughs>
and Sony got the exclusivity to this game, the PlayStation took off, bro, and they, they ain't, Sony ain't looked back since, but um, this game looks dope right now. It's a PlayStation exclusive, low-key part of me is saying I'm just going to hold out and wait. Um, it's a launch exclusive. I think this might be coming to the Xbox eventually. Of course, I rock with my Xbox One X, so I might hold off and see um, if um, um, a Microsoft gets a release date late, um, later on in the year, maybe for the Xbox X series. And this is why I'm not in a rush to pick up this game in March. March is going to be lit for gaming. Bruh! Probably my most anticipated game so far in 2020 ori and the will of the wis comes out march 11th bro this generation xbox had the two best platformers in my opinion cuphead and ori i'm actually favoring this a little bit more than cup i love the first game bro if you were a fan of 2D Metroid games, just the uh, mechanics of learning new abilities and re reach reversing areas. The art style is beautiful. The story was captivating. The game was just brilliant, a masterpiece. And this game, Ori the Will of the Wisps, the second version, looks to take it up a notch in every way. And so March 11th, my most anticipated, confirmed, these are games that have been confirmed for 2020 so far. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, March 11th, and I get it. I don't have to shell out another 60 bucks for it. It's included with Game Pass, and so it's already actually downloaded on my Xbox. <coughs> and so once it um, comes out, um, I'll be able to play it. When I say downloaded, it's preloaded. I'm ready to play this bad boy. It's, it's gonna, if you have Game Pass, it's included with your Game Pass subscription. Lit, 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 lit. Next game animal crossing new leaf launches march 20th march 20th now i'm gonna keep it a buck ori right now is overshadowing <laughs> animal crossing for me i'm probably still gonna pick it up but march is heavy with game so animal crossing um new horizons did i say new leaf new horizons comes out march 20th Next game. Bro. Bro. Also on March 20th, Doom Eternal. Now, Doom Eternal's multi-platform release comes out on the Xbox, Switch, and um, PlayStation 4. Doom Eternal. I'm not 100% sold on this game yet because I bought, I bought Doom, the, um, Doom 2016 for the multiplayer. And so I want to see what the multiplayer is like. I think they're doing a spin on the multiplayer, which I'm not really feeling right now. So, but March 20th, I may pick it up. I don't know. I don't know. All right, March 20th, Doom Eternal. Next game. Bro, this game is on my radar too. This game is intriguing me. Bleeding Edge. Comes from a good pedigree um, of developers. The same developers that made Hellblade and the Devil May Cry series game. So you know the action is going to be on point. The gameplay looks like it's going to be on point. Bleeding Edge is going to be a 4v4 multiplayer arena shooter slash brawler type. I've never seen a game like this before in my life. And so March 24th again. This is going to be an Xbox exclusive and it's going to be included with my Game Pass subscription. So I don't have to shut out an extra 60 bucks. I'm just going to turn on my Xbox and play it. <laughs> I did get invited to the beta, but I was at Disney World and so I couldn't test it out. But the game looks lit, man. Let game looks lit. Bleeding Edge drops on March 24th on the box. All right. Next game. This game came out of nowhere for me. Grounded. This was shown at Xbox's two, uh, the XO19. It looks cool. It's like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids type game. 
Um, it comes out spring 2020. No definitive date, but spring 2020. I'm going to give this game a look. All right. It's called Grounded. All right. Next game. Bro, I am going to give up playing every game in the world and become a Minecraft YouTuber. There's nothing you could do about it. <coughs> Psych. But there is a Minecraft game that intrigues me. Minecraft Dungeons. This looks more like a Diablo dungeon crawler type game. This is going to be a multi-platform release coming out on the Xbox, um, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 4. I think this has crossplay too. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it does. Minecraft Dungeon is looking good, bro. Looking good. Minecraft Dungeon. I'm going to be picking that up, definitely. And it's included with my Game Pass, so I don't have to pay any money for it. I'm getting my money's worth from this Game Pass, bro. Next game. Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. The remake. I meant, I meant the remake. Resident Evil 3 remake. Uh, this game is set to um, come out on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Never been a real big Resident Evil 3 fan. I will pick this game up if I've cleared out my backlog and I don't have anything else to play. That's the only way I'll pick this game up. But it's, it's, it looks like it's going to be a good game. Resident Evil 3. Next game. A huge game. Cyberpunk 2077. The game drops April 16th. April 16th. And this looks like to be graphically the best game as far as, as far as visuals are concerned, this generation. I probably will pick this game up. Eh, it's time to expand my horizons. April 16th, Cyberpunk 2077. Next game, brah. Probably my second most anticipated game for 2020. Ha! Marvel's Avengers! A day, brah. This game is looking good, man. I saw some of the gameplay at E3. The game drops May 15th, day one by. I'm going to be picking this up on my Xbox One X. Not to be confused with the Xbox Series X. I got to say that every time, bro. <laughs> the Xbox Series X console looks lit. I love the design. Work on the name. I know in Microsoft said they're just calling it the Xbox, but... That Series X is still confusing. All right, but Ma um, May 15th, Marvel Avengers Day 1, not an, a no-brainer. And Holiday 2020. This is going to be a launch game for the Xbox Series X. Not to be confused with the Xbox One X. Halos, Halos, <laughs> Halo Infinite. The game looks dope. I like Halo 5, so I'm going to be picking this one up. All right, next game and now the rest of some of these games the rest of these games don't have a official launch date but are anticipated or could possibly come in 2020 so i included it in this video lego star wars the skywalker saga um drops on xbox nintendo switch and playstation 4 y'all know how i roll with star wars y'all know and really, I'm not a big fan of the Lego games except the Star Wars. I love the Star Wars Lego games on my Xbox 360. Definitely going to probably, not probably, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. And so, should be lit, should be lit, should be lit. Londo. All right. The next game coming in 2020. Tales of Arise. Bro, the Tales series, solid RPG. I remember playing these on my GameCube. And so, Tales of Arise, definitely, definitely, definitely I'm going to be picking this up. Game looks lit. Game looks lit. All right. Next game coming in 2020. We don't have an official launch date yet, but you already know. Cuphead DLC, um, something delicious, something 
delicious course dlc i forget what the l was but you know delicious last course that's it <laughs> the, it's right here i'm gonna fail delicious last course bro cuphead orient cuphead one and two in 2d platformers this generation bro look how dope cuphead just was crazy good and this is coming out on xbox and nintendo switch you better believe this is going to be a day one i want this is the dlc included with game pass i don't know but even if it's not i'm picking it up all right next game and i and again this is a question mark for 2020 zelda breath of the wild 2 I don't know, with the last um, rumors that we got with them still hiring and those key positions that they're still looking to fill, it causes me to think the game may not come 2020, but I think this would be a perfect holiday game for Nintendo. Nintendo's going to need a banger for 2020, and I think Breath of the Wild 2 will fit that build. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, bro... This game looks like Breath of the Wild on steroids. Just the art style. We don't know too much about the game yet. Except that it's going to have multiplayer. Because you can see two characters. I think in one scene it shows three. Everwild. Yeah, there you go. You got two characters right there. Made by Rare. Everwild, Everwild. This is an Xbox exclusive. Again, this is a question mark for 2020. I think this is going to be on the next gen Xbox probably a 2021 game but this game is looking so far just the teaser that they shown has this game looking real good man i love the shell shaded shell cell shaded art style there you have you have three people right there imagine breath of the wild with multiplayer bro and so interesting to see more information on this game this game is definitely on my radar so another game this was shown, revealed to me the first time at the Nintendo Direct. Rogue Company. 4v4 action, third person shooting. This game looks lit and it's going to be cross play. Nintendo Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation 4. Put Rogue Company on your wish list for 2020. Rogue Company is looking good, bro. And as I mentioned before, in 2020, we have the launch of two consoles right now i'm leaning towards getting me the, the xbox we haven't i haven't seen anything about the playstation 5 yet so i'm not just gonna say nope i ain't getting it but between sony and microsoft it always comes down to exclusives sony's exclusive never really did it for me i've already invested so much in the xbox ecosystem so i'm probably going to be getting the xbox series x over the playstation 5 but we're having consoles launching in 2020 so that should be lit you know what would really tip me over the edge, Microsoft? If y'all, in that reveal, E3, whenever y'all do the big blowout for the Xbox Series X, bro, <coughs> show us that Fable 4, bro. This is Fable 3 footage. But show us Fable 4. And if y'all announce a new Banjo-Kazooie game, this y'all IP. It's a Microsoft exclusive. Y'all announce a new Banjo 3D platformer. Not that nuts and bolts stuff. A true 3D Banjo-Kazooie game? Bro! Oh my goodness. I'd lose it. All right, dudes. So, these are the big... The biggest and best games, in my opinion, coming in 2020. Maybe I missed the game. Maybe there's a game here I talked about that you're like, Obi Wan, you tripping, bro? Minecraft. Not dungeons, but just regular Minecraft. A new Minecraft is coming out that I didn't know of. Let me know, bro. So, what do you guys think about my list? Games coming in 2020. Most of these were already confirmed games. So, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bruh. We out, boy, bruh. 2020 is going to be insane.